I've talked a lot about my online influences and the people who inspired me and the way that I create content. And I've told you guys before, Tim Pool really inspired me to get into the space to do the type of content that I do because I seen him being at, you know, the forefront of all this stuff and thought, wow, if somebody who has that little talent can succeed as much as that little five foot six bald manlet, hell, anybody can do it. But when it comes to positive influences, I've talked about Anthony Cumia before, the fact that he's the funniest man alive and the funniest man to have sat in front of a microphone on a daily basis and be as consistent as he is and was. Amen. That I could only hope to be as good as him. And then when it came to somebody doing an actual independent show built from the ground up, somebody who went from being a clean cut Christian who wouldn't swear on his show, wouldn't drink on his show or anything like that, to eclipsing a hundred thousand, hundred and twenty thousand people watching a live stream, Nick Ricada is a huge inspiration, okay? Like I watched a ton of Nick Ricada and I'm not, not and I'm not one of these Johnny Come Lately types, okay, who remember watching the guy or oh I remember I found uh, I found Ricada during the Rittenhouse trial. I found Ricada during the Johnny Depp Amber Heard stuff. No 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 man me it was around twenty nineteen. It was post Vic Mignana and pre him streaming everything. I think it was about I think it was the summer of twenty nineteen because this was even before Razor Fist started to do more long form gaming streams and stuff and I was just looking for podcasts where he was just talking beforehand and there were two that popped up one was a more religious sit down with Doug to Naple back when he had his first or second channel and the other one was like a three or four hour long interview with Nick Ricada and well showed up for Razor Fist and I stuck around Nick Ricada because hell he's a great interview he's a funny guy he's a knowledgeable guy and he was talking about the stuff that I found incredibly interesting. Hell, he made 2021 CPAC palatable, okay? Tradcuck Neocon convention. I don't know if you guys know this, but he was streaming that stuff. Trump's first big public appearance after the 2020 election. I was down there. I was watching that. Hell, I've watched just about every direct stream. I watched just about every single minute of the Rittenhouse trial, of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, of the Kim Potter trial. There was the popcorn shooter trial, Errol Brooks trial. Oh my God. And then there was a self-defense case out of um, Milwaukee that was there as well. I supported Nick Ricada financially. I've been a part of his locals before in the past. And to see, oh boy, what has transpired over the past, uh, past couple of days, um, it's... I don't know, man. Like this is this is really, really sad. And even still, you might be wondering, it's like Don, what do you have on the screen right here? Okay, a day after everything broke, and then the first public message that he makes is over there on his locals page. What's happening today? Just woke up. What's going on? And it's like, well, just is all of social media. And because Nick Ricada, okay was at one point in time somebody who everybody had good interactions with he was making the rounds on all the podcasts being one of the most sought after guests co-hosting on several large shows hell getting on glenn beck outer with crowder like he was that guy the crowder was like circling him as to be the go-to law guy then things just started to go downhill somewhere around the fall of 2023 about Late summer, early fall, and yeah, this is, this right here, this is the tweet for me that just absolutely killed it. Like I said, I've financially supported the guy. I was a part of the locals. I've watched hundreds of hours, or at least just had it on the background, podcast form, watching trials, listening to legal breakdowns in the evening, into the night, okay? And especially when you're a YouTuber and you're up all night, you know, editing and stuff like that. To have a show that comes on that was funny and educational would break down the current events of the day. Hell, a lot of my legal analysis skills was brought to you in part by Nick Ricada and the guests that he brought onto the panel. He has made the quality of my content inexorably better. But to see the stuff that ended up happening back in the later stages of 2023, to see his dust-ups with Eric July siding with a bunch of unsavory characters and to see in more recent months what his late night streams had start to become like I had checked out it's been a while right like every once in a while I'll I'll see him pop up right like he had been diminishing in relevance for quite a while but as somebody who I'd go to for you know entertainment and for information I'd check in with him every once in a while it's like yeah he's still doing decent over on rumble nowhere near the days when he would you know, day stream for hours and hours on end getting 20 30,000 people on the reg and then yeah 
as those trials began to crescendo, creeping up over those six-digit stream numbers, which is absolutely absurd and at the time definitely well warranted, and then to just devolve into absolute degeneracy, to just devolve into contrarian talking points, not making any sense, and well, if you don't know really what I'm talking about, the fact that this is, fuck man, this is, um, this is how it all ends up. Uh, he ends up getting arrested for some pretty serious stuff. Him, his wife, the live-in nanny, I, I don't know, the third head of this unholy trilogy, or trinity. Uh, it's just, um, god damn it, man. God fucking damn it. But yeah, man, over the past couple of days, I've uh, watched a couple of breakdowns. I watched uh, a few breakdowns. Shout out Legal Mindset. He did a really good stream on that. Dragon's Treasure. Somebody who, if you've watched uh, Nick Ricada streams before, you know, a very vocal supporter. The T-Man, okay? The based anime T-Guy. He did a video about just the downward spiral, and I don't need to get into all of that stuff, mostly because I've been checked out for a while. I haven't really been paying that much attention to him, but his video came out a couple of days before all of this stuff came down. He's like, I, I don't know what's going on with nick he's just becoming he switched up from being old nick to this current uh, slurring drunken deviant and as tug pointed out one of his most recent quotes out of a stream that he was absolutely plastered on i might get it wrong but i'll end up encapsulating the uh, general message that he was trying to put across scandinavian food is like auschwitz for tyrannosaurus what, is, what the fuck does that mean that's what that's the stuff that Nick was talking about. But yeah, man, um, to have him go from starting his career making fun of lol cows to only falling into and becoming right now the biggest lol cow that's out there. It's, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> fuck man, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And the fact that just, you know, the commentary from the people that, you know, he has been associated with over the years, Tug, Legal Mindset, run down the list of just some of the biggest creators in the media and in the law space. Everybody's like, yeah, we've seen it coming. We were trying to help. Nick turned us away. This is not at all shocking in the slightest. And you'll have the thoughts and prayers part. And it's like, okay, cool. This is where I'm going to go ahead and break from tradition for just a little bit. And we'll get back on track here for, yeah, for a moment. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick is very much a God-fearing man. Apparently he professes as much. And if the church could really solve all these problems, why didn't they step in earlier before he ends up getting arrested for drug possession, firearms charge, and endangering children? Why didn't they do anything beforehand? So yeah, guess what? The church isn't just a solve-all. You gotta be a good person underneath this stuff. You gotta be a right person. But I digress because clearly, clearly we're dealing with somebody who's dealing with quite a lot. Nick Ricada has been arrested. It's like I said yesterday, he's crashing and people will cheerlead you to the bottom. And oh yeah, and that's the other sect of people that's out there. The people that he ended up aligning himself with, the Dick Masterson's vetoes of the world, who, well, Masterson can have his funny points, okay? Comes a point in time where the old saying, you lie with dogs, you get fleas. These are the people that were supporting Nick later during his spiral. The people that were cheering on the rampant alcoholism. The people that were cheering on him delving more and more into the deviant topics. And while everybody's going from, you know, if he needs help, all you need to do is ask. Thoughts and prayers, you know, and people just, you know, voicing their frustration with the situation. And then also trying to come in at, coming at it as a point now with a point of compassion because this is a guy that they've streamed with somebody that they would call a friend somebody that they would call as an inspiration and seeing him well fall apart over the course of six months and yeah if you've been paying attention to this story for a little while you've probably seen this clip and i'm gonna go ahead and play it from a certain point because oof, um yeah brace yourself for a second because the first time i seen this it's yeah man uh I don't like this at all. I really don't. I don't like this at all, man. But we gotta play it, man, because we need to get the full context on the downfall before we get into the facts of the case, right? That's on you. That's on you. Your life is in control. This substance does not control you. Neither does anyone's opinion about any substance. Yeah, okay, so there's Nick, okay, so that was, apparently I thought I heard that that was from, you know, sometime in early 2023, okay, probably about the time that I personally was petering off, but Nick was still doing relatively well on stream, and, well, yeah, June, uh, June 12th, 2023, you can see it down there, you know, in the bottom corner right there, yeah, so, okay, so less than a year ago, 
back when the memes that were running around on his locals page were just how Nick was, you know, just a little bit more sedentary, sitting in the chair for a lot longer than, you know, normal, packing on a couple of pounds and the fat memes were running around because he had to reach for something on the back desk or something like that and it caught him at an unflattering angle when it kind of looked like he had a bit of a gut. And why is that important to bring up? Well, fuck, brace for the worst. This ice cream, whatever it is, do what is right for you. Why is my camera so on? Of course, maybe that clip was taken out of context. Okay, I can go ahead and uh, afford anything that's out there that doesn't have a timestamp on it, but I thought I heard it was from, you know, like earlier this week or something like that, but that's where he's at right now. Could be poor lighting, but the lighting looks exactly the same, but that's clearly a guy who hasn't been outside much in the sun, who has clearly lost a lot of weight, and Nick's like over six feet tall, right? Somebody who's slurring his words, somebody who... I don't know, maybe he's doing a DSP impression, okay? There's been some other things that, you know, maybe that April who was also snatched up with everybody else during the raid, which is very much unfortunately a raid when he was arrested, was under the table doing some things, or maybe he was trying to redecorate the floor. Don't really know. It's, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on there, but what I do know is that's, that, that's not the guy that I've watched for hours. That's not the guy that I've supported. That's a busted guy. Was a guy who allowed his demons to take hold. That's a guy who allowed bad influences into his ear to influence said bad decisions to get worse. Bad decisions that could lead to 26 years in prison. 26 years in prison. So yeah, man, since I think the evening of uh, May 23rd, 23rd, uh, the Minnesota Police Department, I'm not entirely sure which one, I'm sure we're going to get into that, but they ended up coming down to Nick's residence. Um, the officers had to use battering rams in order to get into his house because the woman, the girl who ended up answering the door, would not open the door for the police. The police had a search warrant. The premise, Nick would not provide the door code to the officers after they were turned down by the girl, opened up the door four of his five children were at home and they got treated to seeing their mother and father taken away in cuffs. Now Nick and I think his wife end up facing identical charges, faced 26 years in prison. Nick is apparently, you know, representing himself, which, okay, on top of talking to police officers, representing himself, those were two things that he was talking about on the stream all the time about things that you should never do as an officer. But then again, you should also not get caught with 25 grand of cocaine possession of a fire uh, ammo of a firearm while you're I don't know cutting up uh, distributing cocaine and meth can we not do that and child endangerment he's currently representing himself and the last two are gross misdemeanors the drug possession carries a maximum of 25 years because from that booking photo that tug had here from the beginning as you can see you got Nick's wife um yeah, sked, yeah, fifth degree possession of sked one and possession of an, uh, a firearm from the user of a controlled substance in Nick with the exact same charges. And then for this I er, April Imholt, which I've heard some tings about her. I'm just not really all that plus all that concerned about this one, but she's also in on the drug charges as we're going to see uh tug break down here. This uh, Nick Riccata situation got bad. He had a door battered down by police for fuck's sakes. Some went, oh, someone went to the... Uh, police on May 16th made a report in person as a mandatory reporter and the police executed a warrant on May 23rd. They reportedly found cocaine, ketamine pills, scales, baggies, guns, loose ammo. Four kids were there. This has led to at least one potentially serious charge. I say that because anyone thinking this isn't bad. Yeah, the people that are just laughing it off are the people that are saying, I can't believe they're trying to make their stupid, oh, this shouldn't be a problem because the Second Amendment is absolute and that all drugs should be legal. Yeah, but they aren't. Yeah, but they aren't in this situation. You got to deal with the world the way that it is because if you want to deal with magical fairyland bullshit, this is what you end up with. Do you think if all drugs were legal, Nick wouldn't be in such a fucked up situation? You think his downfall wouldn't be slowed or stopped if all drugs were legal? 
freaks make me sick cheering on his downfall, laughing and monetizing off of this dude's lowest moments. I understand over the past six months, a lot of people have tried to intervene. That's been the general sentiment that's out there. Even Tug, man, somebody who used to be on stream with Nick all the time. Hell, kicked off the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial with Tug on stream. Used to be a common co-host on Flashcast. But Nick, as he started to embrace the Dick Masterson veto side of the internet, the scumbag blood sports types, which... It's so strange that all of this stuff pops up right now after I, I can't remember what video it was, but I was talking about how the blood sports side of the internet, ever, nobody ever ends up coming out unscathed. And well, here we are. And that group, well, they're just laughing at him right now. Oh, oh, it's just a regular felony. Oh, Nick would be laughing at the exact, Nick would make the video about it if it was any one of his friends. Or it's like, yeah, make jokes. But as Tug also points out, it's bad and the actual facts and no speculation need to be discussed honestly because yeah, this is a guy. He was him. He was a top tier YouTube it's social media pundit. Anywhere he'd go, he would bring in numbers financially, viewership wise. And it also helped that from the outside looking in, he was a real good dude. While I brought up my breaking point where it was like, you don't value loyalty at all, okay? You want to go ahead and say that I don't require loyalty just because you're getting into a stupid comic dust up with Eric July for Christ's sakes, where that's all predicated on you also trying to be loyal to other people who don't actually give a shit about your well being, just trying to use you as a pawn to get against other people? For Christ's sakes, man. For as many people that just either hopped off the Ricada bandwagon or that ended up getting spurned personally or secondhand by him. I love Nick. I'll support him, however, but silence didn't help. I know pretending it didn't happen won't make things better either. Not with, yeah, misinformation, national news, and more looking at this now. And yeah, given the fact that this is the long weekend, Memorial Day long weekend, new information is going to be hard to come by but we do apparently have some more messages from nick when it comes to this on his uh, locals page which i left a long time ago but we got a couple of statements here so about the news so hey obviously a lot has happened i'm sorry for legal purposes it must be reiterated that the sorry is for disruption and that is no way related to any pending legal matters so that says please realize that no one has the full story or the picture or anything it's possible and no one ever will nothing reported is accurate and that's not their fault i've seen so many supportive messages thank you for that i'll still be doing stuff i'm home now stay tuned for show announcements and stuff here on local where it's like okay so you end up dropping that uh, after you get home on the 24th and it's like okay um said thanks for the messages but show announcements and stuff it's like uh at this point in time bro you better get your ducks in a row because you're facing some serious charges and yeah i really wanted to go live tonight uh i planned on doing a locals tonight Oof, i really wanted to do the first stream aftermath the gay crap but i'm really not feeling it i'm sorry no, just get off the internet, man. Seriously, for the time being, just... I'll do something tomorrow. Oh, great. So by the time potentially you're seeing this or maybe a couple hours after the fact, because, yeah, I'm recording this Friday going into Saturday, so... I don't know what's going on over the weekend, and frankly, I'm going to be taking some time away, but we'll get through this statement, okay? Again, a million people will have the whole slew of opinions about me and everything. You got too deep on the farms, bro. Uh, that's fine. They've earned it, and they don't know the story. They can't. They found drugs and scales and ketamine and pills. And, and I understand, okay? Maybe you had some firearms and you had some ammo. Loose ammo, that could mean that you just bought some ammo. You didn't have time to put it away with your other guns that you have in the safe or the closet or something like that. That could be completely different. That could be not a part of the full story, okay? You had 25 grams of coke, man. Okay? You used to be vehement in saying that outside of the outside of the booze that you drink on stream, I don't really drink all that often, okay? I try to... I try to distance myself from it after the stream okay and the only time the only drugs that i take are my prescription pro vigil because i've got insomnia and now well we just patently know that that's not true they don't know the story they can't but they get their opinions and i deserve my public lashings i ask people to focus on me and my failures and leave other people allegedly involved out of it well there's two other people that have been arrested um 
when it's grifting time, I'll tell you, you know, shitty jail stories or the good parts about having your ho- your house search stories, which, yeah, okay, you know, good for him to try to still make light of the situation because, yeah, it's pretty heady subject material. And I want to be jovial and optimistic for those things because you can, uh, they can be funny and self-deprecating. Tonight, I don't feel jovial. PC all talk soon. Where it's like, yeah, man, I see stuff like this. And I, I was talking about this a couple of weeks ago where it's like you get to a point in time where as a creator, as a creative person, you just hit a wall and it doesn't matter what you do. Nothing seems to work. And I know when I get a little bit off track and OK, the way that I deal with stresses like this is to just simply hone in and work even harder. I've never touched a drink. I've never done a drug in my life because I know if I do Things are going to get inexorably bad. Things are going to get, I, I don't know, to that level because I don't want to experiment in order to find out. When I see stuff like this, okay, like that just, uh, that hits on a different level. It's like you are, you're just fresh out of the clink and you want to go right back to the same stuff that ended up putting you there to begin with. So this really makes me want to just, you know, take a step back for a while more than anything else has because... I don't want to make this about me. There's enough, you know, kvetching women that are online, you know, invading other people's streams, you know, trying to make it all about them. I knew Nick, this is so tragic. And this is so it hits so hard. It's, it hits so close to home for me. It's like, okay, Megan Fox, you can just shut your mouth for here for a second. Okay. The moment that this story broke, you were live within, you know, just a couple of minutes. So just chill for all of your, you know, your moral grandstanding for a second. But letting cooler heads prevail, just giving yourself, you know, a chance to think, taking advice from people that actually want to see you succeed, people that just don't simply want to see your downfall for their entertainment. Yes, yeah, probably um, the best course of action moving forward for everybody. This could be, like Tug has pointed out, this is a good learning moment for a lot of people. This is a horrific situation with a bunch of moving parts a lot of which i'm not gonna know a lot of the lore of this is somebody that i hold or held in reasonably high regard somebody that i i guess a few degrees removed ended up you know devoting a lot of my life to somebody who crafted or at least helped craft my public persona and to see all of this stuff go down man over the past day or so it's um chilling sad heartbreaking all of that crap. But I want to see this guy come back. I want to see him better than ever. It's just he kind of has to want to have that happen to himself more than anybody else. And from what I'm seeing from these posts, from what I'm seeing from his lackadaisical representation of himself, I don't know, man. Um, it's going to be a long road ahead. And I'm hoping for the best, but also expecting the worst because this is the internet after all. So with all that said... Thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. And uh, just as a, a little aside here at the end, um, if you're struggling with anything, uh, please reach out to somebody that you know or love or in the absence of that, um, please, you know, I don't really try to pay attention to too much in the comment section or anything like that. That's kind of space for you guys. And of course, it, it just never ends up working out well for me if I troll through that stuff because I see a bunch of people that are really passionate about their big corporations. So I try to stay clear of that stuff. But please just reach out to somebody if you're feeling down, if you're feeling a little bit um, out of yourself because I don't want to see this stuff happen to anybody else. So enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your long weekend if it's for you in the United States or just simply... Take some time for yourself. All right, guys. Take care.